In this video, we're going to learn a fun beginner-ish West Coast swing pattern called the fold. We're going to walk you through leaders and followers for work, everything you need to know. Again, my name is Brian B. from West Coast Swing Online, and we'll see you on the other side of the video. All right, let's take a look at the fold for West Coast Swing. Six count pattern, and it looks like this. Oh, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Oh, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. All right, leaders, let's take a look at your footwork for the fold. There are, are some things you need to pay attention to. So this is based off of a left side pass, so the follower is passing me on the left side. So I'm stepping back in diagonal for one. I'm stepping out of the slot with a small step back for two. On three and four, as the follower is passing me, I'm gonna keep this angle as I dance three and, and I'm gonna step into the slot slightly forward and diagonal for count four. Then I'm gonna turn around as I anchor step for five and six. So if I did that again, we'd have one, we're out of the slot for two as she begins to turn. I remove my left foot for three and on count four, I step back in the slot and I begin my turnaround on five and six. If I did this from the other side, and there's one step I want you to pay attention to when you dance with your follower, and that's gonna be count four, I'm gonna explain. We dance one, two, as she's turning past me for three and, I need to step in the slot and slightly away from my follower on count four. The problem or variable is how far she spins down the slot. So as I step in for four, I might need to monitor this four to make sure I'm in a comfortable spot from my follower as we turn around. So two times in a row, one, two, three, and four, a five, and six, a one, two, three, and four, a five, and six. Followers, your footwork. We are going to start this pattern like the left spinning side pass. So we have forward, forward, we're going to start our turn, turn, step, but we're going to end forward. And then we are going to anchor around for triple step. So if we did that back the other way, we have forward, forward. We're turning around, turn, step, forward, and then triple around. So if we did counts with that, we would have one, two, three, and forward for four, and then turning around for five and six. One last time. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. All right, gang, let's talk about dancing the six count fold for West Coast Swing. Let's look at it one time. A one, two, three, and four, a five, and six. This is a fun pattern if done right and kind of a scary pattern if done wrong. Here's what I'm talking about. We need to prep the follower. So we dance for one, just like a basic inside turn, we prep her for two. Now at this point, I'm gonna turn this hand slightly. So the action of cutting this across is gonna begin the turn, but I don't wanna turn the hand down too far. You'll see from the other side in just a second. But as I turn this hand down three and four, I'm gonna step into the slot in a place that's comfortable for my follower. Now you notice Megan's hand's not turned all the way over, and it's also not turned straight up. It's in a comfortable position for her. So if we just reached our hands out in this position, that's comfortable for both of us. This is count four. I turn around as I turn the hand up for five and six. If I do it from the other side, we have one, two. I'm beginning to cut the hand down for three, and I slide past her and step in the slot for four. We're in a comfortable position. Even here, we've got a little connection away as we turn five and six. So a couple things that can go wrong. Number one, if I'm leading a basic turn, I'm likely to pull the hand through, which keeps Megan's turn really small. But because I'm not pulling the hand through, leaders have a tendency to, as we go from one, two, have a tendency to pull this hand down and allow the follower to turn a little further down the slot. So as I gently turn this hand down to initiate the turn, one, we're prepped two, so she's forward on the left foot. We've got good connection. So just this little turn down of the hand, just about that much, and I'm gonna let Megan complete the turn, and I'm basically following with my fourth step to a position that's comfortable before we turn the hand up. Let's talk about turning the hand up. 
from this angle because I think it's best to see. When we get to count four, one, two, three, and four. In a perfect world, we have a little bit of connection. I don't want to turn the hand up immediately. I want to turn the hand up as I anchor step. And you can see, Megan couldn't see me right there, but as I turn the hand up, she feels me initiate the rotation back and we're in an anchor position. Let's look one more time. A one, two, lead three and four, a five and six. And that is your six count fold for West Coast Swing. All right, game, hope you enjoyed learning those patterns. If you wanna know what to learn next, you can hunt around right here and start learning some intermediate patterns. But if you want a step-by-step -step way to level up your West Coast Swing, you should head on over to our website, westcoastswingonline.com. You can click this link right here, take a peek. We've got everything leveled out in five levels, beginner, beginner, intermediate, intermediate, advanced, pro level patterns. We have tips and tricks to improve your spins, connection, musicality, anything that you want to become an amazing social dancer. You can try it right here or in the description below. 14 days, totally free.